Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Hopefully you're finding my videos uh, interesting and informative, and hopefully uh, I'm helping uh, you as you collect coins from around the world. Some samples of these coins that I do recommend collecting uh, since they continue to increase in value. So collecting just these samples, definitely adding it to your collection, definitely you should have a very nice collection as you have these coins added to your portfolio. Uh, what we have here today are a uh, very nice coin from South Africa. These are highly collected, uh, very popular coins. Uh, this is uh, the five shilling series. Uh, basically these coins uh, start in basically 1947 and continues on till 1964. So these are very popular coins, highly desirable, especially in high grades. And uh, as I recall, back in the 80s, I used to pick these coins up for like $20 or $30. Now these coins are going between two to 300, sometimes even eight to $1,000 or even more. So depending on the condition of these coins, definitely they continue to increase in value. Noted that many of these coins are very nice and usually high grade, but uh, during the 1980s, uh, many of these coins were basically sacrificed to the melting pot when silver hit uh, $60 per ounce. So these coins are getting very scarce and the demand for them are very high. And of course, if you're looking to collect the whole series, uh, that is still easily attainable and desirable. There are a few key dates, uh, the 1950s, the 1949 and the 1959 are the key dates. Uh, and of course, they have these coins in three finishes, uh, actually four finishes. Uh, one is a brilliant uncirculated. The other is a specimen proof-like. And of course it depends on um, how nice the coin is. And of course the last is a proof version. Okay, so you have to be familiar with uh, three types, not four types, but three types. The regular commerce coin, uh, again, the proof-like version. And of course the nice uh, proof version, okay? So basically uh, what I have here today is a few coins. That is a proof, a proof like, and actually they're all pretty much a very high grade, either proof or proof like version, okay? Uh, so let's take a look at a few of these coins. Let's take a look at the certified coins. This is a very nice coin. Uh, this is a 1949 uh, South African coin graded by PCGS PL65 or proof like 65. This one here is an exceptionally nice coin, very nice high grade. Uh, it has a somewhat of a mirror uh, field with nice satin device, so very popular. And of course, these coins have a very low mintage of around a couple thousand coins. But as I mentioned before, many of these coins did see the melting pot uh, in the 1980s. So finding these coins in this high grade can be difficult, but it is still attainable at a reasonable price. So if you're looking to collect the whole series, that, that is still attainable. Again, this is a very nice coin. This is one of the key dates, the 49, in proof like 65 or in proof, highly desirable to their low vintages. On reverse, very nice spring buck, 1949 highly desirable in this particular condition. Always popular coin, highly in demand by serious collectors. Okay. This one here, we got another coin. Again, this one here is the 1948. Uh, this, this one here is also a proof-like uh, condition. This is a very nice coin, highly desirable in this grade, extremely clean from any field contacts. So definitely a nice coin to acquire is a 1948. 
And as I mentioned before, this series started in 1947. And of course, these are very low mintage coin uh, from a thousand to a couple thousand coins in this particular condition. Again, highly desirable coin. Very nice feel, nice face, exceptionally clean of, of, any, uh, of any distraction, highly desirable. The next one is a 1960. Uh, so this one here is the commemorative of the parliament. Very nice coin. So this one here, very popular. And of course, highly in demand in this particular high grade. Especially if you come across these high grade, maybe uh, it's something that maybe you want to consider setting it to PCGS or NGC. And hopefully you'll get a nice high grade. Definitely will add a premium to this particular coin and your collection. And on the reverse, very nice popular, simple design, 1960, five shilling, very popular coin, exceptionally clean, proof like fields, highly desirable. Last, what we have is also the uh, same size as the five shilling, but they did change the design uh, from 1960 to 1964 uh, with a very nice uh, overs uh, of a frontier from uh, South Africa. Uh, on the reverse, you do have uh, Spring Buck again. This one here has 1961. This one here is a very nice uh, proof coin, highly desirable, double struck, full square rims, exceptional quality. Definitely a coin that I probably would recommend sending it to NGC or PCGS to get certified. And hopefully it'll get a nice uh, proof grade of hopefully a 66 or a 67. And like I said, these coins are still attainable at a reasonable price. So if you do come across these coins, definitely something that maybe you want to consider adding to your collection. Again, here you go. Four, four nice coins from South Africa. Highly desirable, highly collected, always in demand. These coins will continue to increase in value, especially if you get them in very nice high grade. And then if you get a high grade that you feel that it deserves getting certified, uh, maybe that, that's something that you may want to consider. Well, hopefully this information helps you out. And if you like the information and the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel so you'll get updated uh, uh, information as I upload new videos to Rare World Coins. Till next time, have a great day.